Okay, so we're looking down into the case now, and I wanted to show you how we're going to mount this cooler. This is the uh, the 2011. I hate that they named it that, but the 2011 socket. You can see it's got screw holes around it, which is where we're going to stick these posts. We can get any kind of focus in there. And all we're going to do is our standoffs. So we're going to drop them in there. Notice I haven't put my CPU in. Uh, <laughs> it's just for lack of trust of myself. I don't want to do anything that I could damage it. So we're going to screw them in there. And then uh, once we get that done, we'll come right back. Okay, now you can see that we've got our posts in here. we got all four posts in. Now we're going to put the uh, mounting brackets around the CPU case. And uh, we'll come back after we get those on. Okay, you'll notice i got the brackets in there now. They're right here and here. What's interesting is you can arrange them any way you want. They've got a post here and here that the heat sink actually screws down on. You'll also notice I've installed my CPU and I've installed my RAM. Now the CPU has a triangle mark on it that you line up with the triangle mark on the uh, CPU socket. So there's nothing to that. So the reason I mounted my RAM is because if you look at this behemoth, which I've taken the center fan out of, you have to take them, put the memory in to see how it'll fit so you know which way to put those brackets. So that's why I did that. So we're going to go ahead and put the uh, heat sink down in there now, put a little thermal compound first, and then uh, we'll be right back. All right, folks, she's in there, and I'm not going to lie to you, it was a beast. Uh, just a lot of work, a lot of work. You got a finesser, get it just right. I had to end up going with the fans on the edges because of my memory. I had it wrong the way I had it, thought it would go in. That's just my luck. Got a lot of cable management. I still got to do CPUs in. This is in. Uh, one thing worth noting, if you're going to use this knock to a cooler with the uh, Rampage 4, PCIe slot 1 is not available. So if you're going to go with a single, uh, a single graphics card solution, you're going to have to drop down here to 3 or 4 at the bottom. And consult the user manual see which one will run at full bandwidth. But make sure you look at your user manual because I know if you're going to run one card, they recommend one or I can't remember three or four. But it does cover up one, so it's not available to you.